Welcome back to this Thursday edition of Sunrise, where we are coming down the home stretch of this week's viewer recipe series. We do have two more viewers on tap this week, each of them sharing one of their favorite Thanksgiving dishes. And today's viewer is that guy right there. He is West Lynn Willie, <laughs> a friend of the show, a friend you should know. And I'll tell you right up front, the name of Willie's recipe does not accurately describe what it really is. one of our faithful Facebook followers. And Willie, you submitted a recipe. You said it's armadillo eggs. Please explain what the heck that is exactly. Um, there's no armadillo actually in the armadillo egg. And there's also no, um, no egg in the armadillo egg. Hmm. You got jalapeno pepper, and there's cheese with some seasoning inside of that. And then you wrap that in sausage. And then you wrap that with bacon. You had me at wrap it in sausage, and then you had me back at you wrap it in bacon. You wrap it in both meats. Exactly, both meats. Um, what's important when you put the sausage on the peppers is the peppers dry to make sure it sticks to it. That's the one fault point of this recipe is that if the sausage drips off the pepper, you get mushy pepper, and nobody likes mushy pepper. <laughs> if you don't have a smoker, can you still make this recipe? Yes, you can still do it in the oven. You just need a higher temperature, 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you start to see the cheese um, begin to ooze out of the mixture, that's the time to kind of pull the plug and pull out. Willie, you're an overachiever. Not only did you make us the armadillo eggs, but you said it goes great with uh, some kind of dipping sauce. Yeah, so the dipping sauce is really just an Argentinian uh, version of guacamole. Um, it's got a name with X's and C's in it, which I cannot pronounce. I was born in Kentucky. I just can't do that. <laughs> so I call it cowboy guac, or we call it Todd's guac. Um, it's just big, chunky avocados with bell pepper and tomatoes and minced garlic, and you splash in a little red wine vinegar. It seems like a pretty, what, is that a dog? Is that your dog, I'm yeah, hearing? Yeah, can I go get, take care of that? Yeah, yeah, please. Come on. The dog can be a part of the segment. <laughs> Hi, dog. Bye, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to wrap it up, it has no armadillo meat in it. There are no eggs involved in it, but the recipe is called Willie Huey's Armadillo Eggs. Yep, thank you, Drew. <laughs> no thank you, Willie. <laughs> if you want Willie's recipe, that's the page where you can find it. My uh -huh. uh, KGW TV Facebook page. Yep. Pinned to the top of that page is uh -huh. the Willie Armadillo Eggs post. Uh, the entire recipe spelled out. Actually, he put the recipe for the armadillo eggs and that guacamole. That oh, he yeah, made. yeah. The cowboy oh, yeah. guac. It's a twofer on this Thursday. And you tasted this. So here's the deal. Uh, I think it was Tuesday of this week. I actually went to Willie's house. Yeah. Turns out he lives seven minutes from my own home. There gotcha. you go. So I went to Willie's house. He had two armadillo eggs there. I brought them to my own home. I heated them up, and myself and my two boys split the two armadillo eggs. Very good. Yeah. I'll tell Let's you this see. much right now. Uh, Gut bombish in nature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But I loved it, right? It's oh, just yeah. a warning. In fact, Willie yeah. texted me, said he goes, Good luck tomorrow morning. <laughs> but it was so oh, enjoyable no. that in it, there was no problem. Clear your schedule. There was people. no problem the next morning. I'll say that. But was it's it really spicy, good. though? The uh, not that spicy. Not that spicy. I can handle a lot of spice, though, Rod. Okay. So I may not be the best judge. Easy, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> you better uh, get th going. Thank you, Willie, in Westland. <laughs> great, great recipe. Yay.